Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to continue with our converter, our numbers to words converter, and we're going to be creating a few functions. We're not going to really do anything with this function we created in the last video, but we're going to create a few other functions that we're going to need and that will help us convert larger numbers. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to have two functions, function three digit convert, take a parameter num and what this function does is okay so the num is the number to convert and this function will convert any three digit number into text so once we have this up and running, this will be able to convert any three digit number we have into text. And then we need another function, two digit less convert. It will also take a parameter num. And what this does, let's write it down. So the num is the number to convert and it will convert any two digit or less number into text. So we're going to need these two functions as we parse through larger numbers that may contain like 12 digits or, or higher in order to make the entire process more algorithmic and, and less, less memory intensive. So let's start with a two digit less convert. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a variable. This variable is just gonna be called current num text. This will just represent the num text that we're going to have. So say eight in spelled, spelled out in letters. So we're gonna be adding to that as we go through the function. Then the first thing we're gonna do is say if num is less than 10, then simply return one's num. So if it's one through nine, then just go to that dictionary and return the value that corresponds to it. Now, if num is in tens, then we're going to select current num text we're going to add to it tens num. So say for example, if the number were 23, it's going to head to the dictionary that contains tens and it's going to add, or sorry, say it was 10 through 19, then it'll go to this dictionary and just choose whatever number that we need from it. And then we have an else statement right here. Then we say current num text plus equals prefixes num dot two string dot char at zero. Then underneath this we're going to add if num dot two string dot char at one is not equal to zero, then current num text plus equals hyphen plus ones num dot two string dot char at one. Okay, so what does this do? So this, el this else statement will first use the prefixes to add on any prefix from 20 to 99. So say for, the, say for example the number were 33, it navigates to the prefix dictionary, it notices that there's a three in front because the char at zero references the first digit, and then it gets, the, it gets what correlates to three, which is 30 and it adds that 
to the front of current num text. Then afterwards, if the last digit is not zero, so if it's not 30, 40, 50, etc., then it goes to ones and adds the adds the word that corresponds to the second digit. So say for example the number were 32, first it gets 30 from prefixes, then it gets two from ones. So that's what that does. Then all we have to do afterwards is return current num text. And that's really all we need for the two digit less convert. So now this will be able to convert any number that's between 10 and 99. So now let's work on the three digit convert. And in the three digit convert, we're actually going to be using the two digit convert to convert numbers in a faster manner. So just as the last one, we're going to need a variable. We'll call this variable current num text. And remember this variable, since we're creating it within this function, this variable right here does not reference the current num text that exists within two digit less convert because each of them have different scopes. So now if num is equal to zero, just return nothing. What this is saying is if this three digit number is just three zeros in a row, then we're not going to return anything because that's not a number that we can say. Then if num is less than 100, then we're going to send this to two digit less convert. So current num text plus equals two digit less convert. Actually, this needs to have an or two digit or less convert. Sorry about that. All right. So if it's less than 100, then we send that to two digit less convert and then we just return the number. Return current num text. And then current num text plus equals ones num dot two string dot char at zero and then current num text plus equals space hundred so what this is doing is it's getting the first digit so if, if the number is 679 then it gets the six it gets the first digit puts that into the ones dictionary to define what it is then it adds 100 at the end. So now we have 600. And then we just need to convert the two digits that are at the bottom. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say if num dot two string dot substring one. What this does is it gets the first and the second substring. So it gets one all the way to the end. Is not equal to zero zero then current num text plus equals two digit or less convert parse int num dot two string dot substring one so what this is doing is it's saying if those last two digits are not just zero zero then convert them. That's what this does. It's converting those last two digits into words, then it's adding that to the end of current num text. Then we need to actually return current num text. So return current num text. And now we've created the three digit and the two digit or less convert. So now let's actually test and see how these work. So let's just here for example say num text plus equals three digit convert and we're going to pass to it abs num then save it 
Now if we head to where our file is at, reload, let's say for example 123, 123. Let's fix the spacing a little bit. So in three digit convert, let's just add another space at the end. All right, that's perfect. 127, let's say 100. All right, so that's how it works. So in future, so that's all for this tutorial. In future ones, we're gonna add some more to the convert num so that we can convert bigger numbers because right now what these three digit and two digit converts allow us to do is splice up bigger numbers. So say for example, 1000, and then we're going to be able to use the splices that we create and just convert them in groups. So that's what this is allowing us to do. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Check out our GitHub. Check out our Patreon as well. This is Steam Code. I will see you next time.